Hello there. My name's Sean, also known as the Terminator. Today I'm trying to have another go at this live commentary thing. I don't do it too often. This is a tournament game in the Wandering Albatross Wrestle. We're going first, as you can see, against Black Spice, and oh, we'd love to see it. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. The, the, this is ridiculous. Uh, wow. Um, okay, this is going to be a good game then, because... Oh wow, I'm going to have to deny... Well, okay, so first of all, we've got a kill there and beta. I am a believer, so I will be playing the beta, assuming there's worms. Oh, there's no worms. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Um... Hmm. This is going to be difficult then. <laughs> I've got to deny that Ordovin Skull. That Ordovin Skull so good. Obviously, I don't need it, but I mean, maybe I maybe I'll need it for something to do in this uh, in this first round because you know, if there was a worm in the feeder, I could just easily get the beater down and get going. But maybe get this Swainson Hawk in. Build up a grass and but oh, I'm not going to be able to do that if can't get another worm. So oh, this is tricky. Um, hmm. I don't, oh, I don't think I can. I don't think I can afford to keep the hawk then. If I've just got to do it, just go for beta. Uh. Egg lay twice, lose an egg. Hopefully, get two worms and I don't know. Um, this is a California quail in the tray as well, which it could definitely be useful in some aspects, but I don't think it's going to happen this game. But what else do we do here? Um, Yeah, I really want to keep this hawk. If if there was a worm, if absolutely, if there was a worm in the feeder, I'd be absolutely keeping this hawk as well. Just grabbing a worm, playing the beater, getting the worm back, playing the hawk, building up a lovely grassland, helping for this end around. But oh, uh, is it even worth just taking food twice and forcing the <laughs> or taking yeah, taking food twice to get the beater in? Um, I mean that's a lot of turns. That's one turn taking denying the goal. One, two turns, getting food, then a turn with the beater, egg lay sweet and salt. I mean, I'll have enough. There'll be enough time for me to get that in, and also as long as the beater behaves itself, to then have enough food for the for for the kill deer for the next round. So, so I think we've got to do that. Yeah, it's definitely slow, but. I didn't even looked at bonus cards. Prairie Manager, yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, it's a bit of a risk because it means you're <laughs> limited to what you can put in the grasslands. But I mean, I've got this bronze cow, I've got no chance of being able to keep that as well. Um, multiple habitats could definitely work if I've got the kill there, but I think I'll go for the save three points, and you never know. So yeah, I think we're gonna lock that in. This is gonna be a slow start, but. Obviously, we know that uh, we can hopefully be able to get going straight away in that uh, second round, hopefully, with this kill there. And this is going to be a strong grasslands if we can set it up. But uh, ooh, we obviously we definitely need the bee to behave itself, um, for sure. And, uh, and it, for me, it mostly has, although I did have a game. It wasn't uh, like a proper tournament game or anything but I did have a game quite recently where the beta missed six times <laughs> over the course of a game so um, yeah that did rock <laughs> my confidence in it a little bit but to, uh, yeah I still want to go for it and yeah we're definitely get, definitely denying that girl it's too fate too good um, and uh, yeah hopefully yeah, it doesn't matter what food we get, we'll just take anything here. Oh, yellow bait up sucker, so they've got their worm access, no problem. Uh, yeah, we're going to take food twice, and I think... 
if I worked out right, the beta can miss once, I think, and will still be alright to get the kill down in the second round. So they're putting a sapsucker in and uh, getting food. So, um, I don't know, rat? <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. So this is our this is the our fourth game in this tournament, and uh, we're on a clean sweep at the moment. We've won all three of them so far, which is down to a considerable luck. Um, and my opponent, oh my opponent, just caught top deck. Then that's interesting. Uh, I'm very much aware of the food they've got. <laughs> uh, yeah, top decking. Yeah, they've got Franken's Garden. So this is going to be a kill there. So I didn't need to deny the order in skull. Um we're gonna, yeah, it's gonna be Kilde versus Franklin, so that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. Um yeah, we get this B to down. And uh Yeah, so um if the beat is gonna miss, I mean we are Yeah, if it misses at any point we're gonna be running out of egg space. <laughs> um we may be running out of egg space anyway actually, I'm not sure. I haven't quite worked it out but um yeah, I think we can be alright. We might it, so if the beta does behave itself, we'll be having a spare turn. I'm not quite sure what I'll do with that spare turn because we can't egg lay. Not a lot of point in getting food. Um, maybe I'll take something from the tray. I don't know. See what happens. So yeah, opponent obviously found something decent when they topped it then, grabbing a worm and a grain. I'm hoping it's not a bush tip. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Uh, so uh, yeah, thank you very much, Peter. Excuse me. Um, very nice. Sorry, I would um, normally have the music in the background. Actually, can I just turn it on now? <laughs> Quickly. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully that's not too loud. Uh, are they top decking? Top decking again. I'm surprised they don't want this California quail, for example. I mean, I suppose if you've got a Franklin Skull, obviously you're going to be getting loads of eggs anyway, but. Uh, but yeah, let's get the Swainson's walk in. And build out this grass end, and. Uh, yeah, that's nice, and we've already got uh, three points here, so for a uh, you know a game with an OP bird, this first round is going to be reasonably high scoring. <laughs> Normally, a lot of fiddling around trying to get build up some food or some cards, and not scoring many points. But yeah, we're going to be doing all right here, especially if we can win the end of the round or at least draw it. So um, yeah, two chances here, beta. Please give me kill their food. Thank you very much. Just got to ask it nicely, see? That's how it, that's how it works. <laughs> yeah, so I'm very aware that my opponent must have a Franken skull <laughs> because of the situation. Nut hatch, nice. So they got a very nice forest in, and they're going to draw the end around unless I uh, could even play something else. Maybe yeah, could do. Obviously, I can't. Um, so what do I do with the spare turn? I mean, I could just pick up that great e grip, but I unless I find a raven, there's no prospects of me really playing that. So I'm a, so I could just top deck, I suppose. We could just top deck. Why not? <laughs> that wasn't worth it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd be interested to know what most people would do in their situation. I suppose you could just take food. I suppose there's no harm in taking food. There's no real... There's only fish and cherries there. I suppose that could have come in useful. Yeah, that could have been something else I could have done. In hindsight, I probably would have done like, I think a cherry or a fish is more valuable than a, than a blue goss beak. But uh, you never know, do you? You never know. It could have paid off. I suppose another thing I could do, I could have just taken eggs again. It would have only been one point. 
and I would have got a worm and maybe a, a hunt. So maybe that could have been an option too, just egg laying again. Um, means it would have filled up quicker, obviously, next time as well, but in the future. But yeah, that might have been an option too. Maybe I took the um, the least desirable option there, but I don't know. Yeah, it's tricky. My opponent taking their while uh, now. I'm wondering if they've got something they could play in the forest to win the end of round, but they're not sure if they want to. And looks like they maybe decided not to play it or whatever. So here we go. Round two, we've got uh, some nice stuff in the tray. Will they want to grab those or will they just want to get their gull down? Um, oh, yeah, Grackle. Okay, yeah. So that's what they top decked. <laughs> they top decked Grackle and they've got Franklin's gull. So that's fantastic. But we. I've got killed there, and um, we've got it. Our grass is set up quicker, so hopefully that's a plus. Um, obviously, not as good food access as them, but uh, I'll definitely be looking at that Bell's Rail here because obviously I can get it down with my worms, and it helps this hand around too. So I'm hoping that my opponent will just play their Franklin's Goal here, and I can pick that up. And uh, there we go. I called it. Uh, <laughs> It was reasonably obvious that that's what was going to happen. Did I pick up the spotted owl as well? I mean, I don't have the food for it again, but it's big point birds. Denying it from them is always good, I think, so I think we do that. Um. Oh, Beta! <laughs> you disappoint me. All right, okay. That's not great. Um that has put me back because I was just thinking if I was going to get the rare down would I put it in the grass and or the forest obviously there's still very much time for some good engine birds to come up so maybe I would have put it in the forest although putting it in the grass wouldn't help for egg space at least in the short term but yeah I don't know Tufted Tip Mouse also would definitely be useful here for me to help with egg space um, but my opponent, I'm sure, would have the same sort of thoughts here. Um, but they, they didn't take it, so that's interesting. We'll uh, continue to lean on this beater, hopefully. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next turn. I'm hoping I can find something cult it. Yeah, it definitely... Thank you, beater, this time. Uh, definitely... Uh, oh, hummingbird. Well, I would... I would be not unhappy if they took that and gave me some food. Um, definitely. Um, but if not, yeah, I'm I'm taking that. I maybe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they did take it, but they did give me a Benny's eagle, so that's good. And although I have lost eggs there, I will hopefully be able to get this Bell's Rare down now if the beat is nice, and it is. Oh, just about. <laughs> Just about, okay. Ah, oh, American Crow, come on! <laughs> so this is, uh, this is, uh, the world of all 16s now. Um, yeah. I mean, that's amazing for them. Hummingbird Crow. They might not need the Hummingbird now. I mean, it's good deny, actually. Uh, but yeah, definitely. I definitely want that Crow now, so... Now, the question is, do I just take the cherry from the feeder so that I can do a double play? Is that a better option here? It might be more egg space and, and I could just egg lay, I suppose. It's the same thing, but then I less chance like the beater might fail. But yeah, I think that's probably better then, because I do at least get baby a hunt and... Oh, and some good cards, and look at that, red... Wing blackbird. Uh, right, I'm uh, definitely. I'm gonna play the bells row first. Obviously, egg space is an issue, so I'm in no hurry to get this um, blackbird down. But we do double play. We egg lay. Probably the first time next round, we get food. We get the red uh, wing blackbird down. Uh, we run it for a bit. When we run out of egg space, we play the eagle to free that off. We're going to need something for the set, uh, third end of round, so maybe we play the the um, eagle in the wetlands, although that won't help for egg space much, I know. But um, Yeah, crow goes down. So let's 
do this double play um, and um, yeah I don't know oh lovely you'll just take that you take that so yeah we might hopefully we can win this end of round which would be nice um, at the moment neither of us have prospects for this next end of round it's a very similar game actually for us look we've got the same, same numbers of birds in the habitats and uh, similar number of tucks and stuff uh, so yeah egg lay for the end of round we continue to use this we need two for egg space um, mm, not particularly interested in any of the birds there so let's ooh mountain blackbird that might be good for egg space too we can maybe do a double play of that into the uh, blackbird and the bee is uh, nice to us again so very nice um, what's the tray going to give us? nothing too amazing I mean I suppose the gallinule would be good for this end of round but um, I've also just got the goose I just noticed maybe for the last end of round but getting ahead of myself here um, yeah I might be okay just to qualify for this end of round by playing the Bernays Eagle I mean, I could play this great like goose, but getting the food for it's going to be tricky, though. I think I'm going to take food. Oh, there's no cherry. So I can't do black bluebird into blackbird. Okay. Uh, do I just egg lay twice and play the blackbird? Hmm. Is the rat or the fish any use to me? Maybe for this, so it might be worth me taking food here. It's a bit odd, but it just means that I can get by a bit. I might, yeah, so I may have to take food again to get the uh, spotted owl down, or I could just force it down. But that's not a priority. A priority is getting something in the wetlands. My opponent may well be interested in that. Galenial. Oh, they have played the hummingbird as well. Okay, so so we might be getting some free food. So maybe <laughs> maybe getting food then was not a very good idea. I didn't know that notice they played the. I didn't think they would play the hummingbird. As I, in my if it was me, I would probably wouldn't have played that there. I'd have just rolled on the crow. Uh, still no cherries. Could we could we force down the bluebird into? Red winged blackbird. Um, hmm. We could do. Yeah. I don't know, it's a difficult one. If there was cherry there, I would absolutely do that and take that now, but. Do I just want to play. Hmm, so what I think of what they took have picked up on the trade. They didn't pick any of those up, so they must have something for the wetlands. I don't recall them really ever picking anything out from the trade. Let's just do this double play. Uh, you know, I can probably afford to be a little more liberal with food here, seeing as they are have got a hummingbird. So let's do it and um well now we can run this uh, grasslands you know, for quite a while before filling up uh, four five so what's that one two three three activations um, I think we'll probably get some cards we, uh, such a shame that we have to keep going for cards but at least we're getting some food points now with the blackbird. They've got a purple martin. Okay, still nothing for the end around, but I'm sure they'll find something. And it only needs to be one. I need to have two food space to beat me, because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get anything else down other than this eagle. Um, which is why I do want to keep running the kill deer, uh, but. Um, sort of aware that it's obviously giving away 
you know, using up points to do that. Um, so it is a little bit, no idea, rough. Ah, oh, okay, cool. That's that's uh, that's better than the Benny's Eagle. If they give me a food here, I can play rough and Benny's Eagle and then egg lay. Um, but only if they give me food, that is. I shouldn't have been putting all the food on the booby then. I have got ooh, I just need to think about that. Okay, uh, I didn't notice if I was first or not, but I'm gonna take the fish. I mean, I could have taken the rat for the spotted owl, but I do, I think, want to play this rough. So It's a little bit late for a rough, but it is important for the end of round. Yeah, unfortunately I did not do <laughs> Prairie Man. I didn't think about that, but I'm not too bothered about this. This blackbird is obviously very important. Um, still not get anything. We they have got some food, so they will be playing something. So let's play this rough. Um, yeah, and uh, we'll see what they we'll see, we'll see what they do here. See what they play. They did. Oh, they did pick up the gallon. I didn't even notice it, but they did pick that up. Okay. So there's no great hurry in playing Benny's, Benny's Eagle, so I might hold off on it. It doesn't. Yeah, I'm okay not to, I think. Four. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so let's 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 start um distributing these correctly for uh well just um probably should take off the black bird just in case. Um Oh, blue wing more blur. I would like to have got that. <laughs> right, okay. I know I only put one egg on the rough then, but I, I have no prospects, I don't think, of actually winning this end of ra round or getting anything other than, a, than qualifying, so... I'm more interested in uh, spreading these out for... We'll just... Um, but yeah, it's tricky. Again, I like a very similar board. We've got the same birds in the same positions here. Right, some food. I think we take the rat for the spotted owl. I'm still interested in playing that. Yeah. Force it down if we need to. Um, yeah, do have this grey lag goose, but to get the food for that would be difficult. How are we doing on that last end of round? We are one all at the moment, but obviously I've got Benelli's. Um, Spotted Owl, obviously. Yeah, I mean, if it, if the Great Leg won the end of the round, it definitely would be worth playing. Although going for food for no points, don't know. I'm not sure about that, but um, yeah, they're winning the end of the round. That's fine. Um, but yeah, let's continue to continue to egg lay until we run out of space, and then we can play these other things, Benny's Eagle, etc. Cassian's Finch. Oh, these are nice birds coming up. Um, definitely good options. And sorry, I didn't. Uh, I didn't ask you nicely there, B, to say. I can understand why you didn't work, but. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Okay. But uh, we're still good on egg space, and yeah, as I say, we've got Bernie's Eagle to play some of this off. They might still give me hummingbird food. Um, yeah, prospects on this last end of round then. Obviously, Bernie's Eagle and Spotted Owl, so we should be able to get two more. Uh, yeah, I really do like the look of this Grand Leg Goose, but. So let's uh, do something on the rough here. That can obviously go, that can obviously go, and uh, that can go. What do we want here? We've got lots of good stuff already, but uh, yeah, it's alright. So, yeah, tied on the end of round, so would like to win this one if possible. Raven's in the tree. Um, Raven's in the tree, so. But uh, that's a bit late to suspect. Although it is obviously a bird that meets the bonus end of round. 
And if they've got one more omnivores on them, then which they might do with these. Yeah. The, oh, look at this. If uh, if they've got omnivore, then uh, that's not great for me. But oh, look, we do get the spotted out rat, so we will be playing that. Um. Yeah. What I'll probably do is play spotted owl. I would like to, yeah, I would like to leave Bernays Eagle to the end, but we might egg lay until we run out of space, then play Bernays. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Um, okay, let's play, let's play the spot now, and hopefully, I'm not sure what bonus card we're after, but there's a lot of that which could get. Oh, food web. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Nothing else, I don't think. We could just play this always to catch it, because it's easy for us to play with worms. It meets the bone uh, the end of round, doesn't it? So we might yeah might do that. Bird feeder. I don't think we're going to be getting anything on. Uh, we could play grey leg in this, but no. Let's uh, let's go for the four points and yeah maybe maybe we play ice catcher. It'll be a, it's a bizarre it'll be a bizarre bird to play this late, but it's all it'll be sort of work here. So yeah, I think we just egg lay. I don't think we use the kill there anymore. I think we just egg lay till we run out of space. Um, oh, maybe, maybe for the end of round it'll be worth like just playing that, um, playing that oyster catcher. Yeah, I think we can skip the kill there here. I think we're gonna run out of next space with these birds we've got to play. Now, oh, please beat her. Oh, I asked nicely. Come on. <laughs> Well, that's a bit rubbish. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's failed. How's that? Three times this game. That's not good, is it? <laughs> if it um, costs me the game, then uh, and that's a problem. But um, but yeah, we've got one more chance to. I think we egg. Do we egg lay now or no? We can't. Can't we're out of space, so we do have to play the Benny's Eagle. So probably Benny's Benny's Eagle, Egg Lay, and yeah, hopefully we can play this because it is a six-point bird, even if it doesn't win the end of round. Um, they've laid eggs, so they're one ahead now. No, we're equal. Okay. So yeah, let's play this Benny's Eagle now in the wetlands. Um, are we going to have the perfect number of, we are going to have the perfect number of cards um, for the rough so that's nice and that's lovely when that works out like that um, yeah they paid the clerk's grief they're now full egg space so they've got some food so um, no doubt they've got all oh, they've got the rosier spoonbill food so I expect that's coming but yeah, maybe this first catcher can win. Oh, it's White Stork. Okay. <laughs> uh, I would say that's not quite as bad as Rosie's Spoon Bill for me. Um, yeah, let's egg lay here. And, uh, right, this is where. Oh, we are going to be one food, uh, one card short for the, for, the, for the rough. This is where the beta must hit. Please, please, please. Am I still a believer? I am not. <laughs> oh dear, right. That yeah. That that's probably lost it for me, I imagine. Because now we're only gonna probably gonna draw for this end of round. They've played the Gossawk. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That is the nail in the coffin then. Uh we we just got the egg lay for one, two, three two, maybe three points, and you can bet Actually, we don't. Just, well, it doesn't matter if it goes under the raffle here. Um, this is where the beat is going to hit, isn't it? This is where it's going to hit, and it does. Thank you for nothing. So yeah, may, maybe, maybe I am no longer a believer. <laughs> it's done me so well in the past, but maybe it's time that. Uh, yeah, especially if it's cost me the game, which I imagine it has. But you never know. We go into the scores. It's, I think it could be a close one, and 
it's crucial that uh, yeah, not so good on base points. Bonus points, we're good, and we would have been better if the beater had hit. <laughs> eggs, they've got more eggs, I think. Oh no, we're just slightly ahead. Yeah, and we've got a few tucks. They've got more tucks, I think. Oh no, we would have enough. Oh, I'm surprised. <laughs> oh, so the beater. Uh, all is forgiven. Maybe I will still play you. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Oh, I'm really, I'm really surprised by that. I thought it uh, cost me. Well, thank you very much for watching. Well, that's my opponent. He played really well there, but uh, yeah, beater. Wow. Well, um, thank you very much for watching, and <laughs> I'll see you next time.